Hi everyone, it's Denise from Paper Pastime. Today we are going to make this box. I call it a little card box. That's what I have in it now, but it could hold lots of things. Whatever will fit. I just love how it turned out. i show you that there are several cards inside and there's plenty of room. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six cards plus some envelopes and there's room for a lot more. So let's get started. <clears throat> Here are my two base pieces. This is a large box, so I had to use two different sheets of paper. We're going to adhere it together. But I found from the first one that it's better if you put your pattern paper on first and then score. It's just easier than trying to mark all of it. In the pattern paper, um, Sections, they're included right in the file, so you don't have to worry about figuring those out on your own. Although this one's pretty easy, this one's just a rectangle, I'm sure you could do it. <laughs> now I did go ahead and put holes on the file, but the first one that I made, I had issues with the holes lining up. So if I have problems with this one, I'll delete them and then you can just punch them yourself. Okay. Now this needs to be scored right along here. Line the, the point up with your groove and you're going to score it. You probably can't see on the camera. Let me move it up for the other side. You're going to score it all the way down here because you're going to have a little flap left here. hard to score through the two layers, so you really have to put some steady pressure on it. But you can do it. Now, the lid, you're going to score a half an inch from this edge. That's the flap you're going to adhere to the main box, and then you're going to score it at two inches also. So yeah, one half and two. And the score pail makes that very easy. Okay, now we need to Fold all of our creases. The double thickness makes it a little tough. Now on the file there is also a smaller version, but I'm going to show you how easy it is to size it to any size that you want. So now you need to put adhesive along this little half inch strip that you scored. And you're going to adhere it right here. You could do it two ways. You could do it on the inside or on the outside. I put my adhesive for the outside. I think I wish I would have done it the other way, but too late for that now. Important to check that first. Line it up. Okay, your little flaps get adhesive. This is a really stringy roll for some reason. Okay, then flip it over in your front. Just put a line along this outer edge of your two front flaps. We're going to do the back little flap. The back flap is going to go over the little flap first. Just fold it in, line up the bottom edges, pinch it down. Same thing on the other side. Line up your bottom edge and give it a good pinch. And then bring that front flap in. Line up your bottom. I don't think this is a good roll of adhesive. I'm having issues with it. But there you go. There's your box. Now I didn't punch my holes all the way through. So I'm going to have to 
You can do that now. I know this crocodile big bite is huge, but it works really well. I thought it would be more awkward than it is. Now we'll see if my holes line up. They didn't on the other one. Yeah, they're still a little off. I'm going to probably just delete those on the file before I post it, and then you'll just have to punch them by hand. Here's my ribbon. Just thread it through the bottom first. It's tricky since they don't line up very well. And then here you go. Whoops, that wasn't good. I'm gonna have to do a new piece of ribbon, but I'll finish it with this. This ribbon is not woven real tight. It's got a looser weave and it's pretty delicate. Looks like it needs to be a tad longer anyway, so not, not a bad thing that it messed up. But anyway, I just love it. It's really cute. I could think of a lot of things. You could do these in a Christmas design, and once again, you could put coffee or tea or whatever in it. So thanks for watching.